From Xi'an Xing Si to the latest humanoid robots, China is making a world of robots. Several suspicious things are connected to China. Now, are you worried or excited about China's robot making? To know more about these, you must stick to our video until the end. Yes, if you were here, they could have met 100 plus robots in one place. Now, aren't you confused? Where is this place with these many robots? In last 2022, the largest exhibition of rabbits World Robot Conference was held in Beijing. Due to the then pandemic condition, most of the countries participated in online mode. And all other companies who participated in the offline mode were from China itself. Oh look, that itself shows their huge collection of robots. The Chinese robots industry is expanding quickly. The nation has increased its production every year and has been the world's leading industrial robot customer for eight years. Robots used in industry and medicine abounded. There were robots for construction, agriculture and logistics at the event. Unfortunately, Xiaomi, which recently debuted its robot Minoid, Cyber One, could not attend. You can read about it right here in the tip. UB Tech Robots was also missing their Walker robot, but the bionic and anthropomorphic robots attracted crowds even without them. The best attraction of WRC was its X robots. Don't look surprised now, we will take a look at that one. One of the most impressive booths was at X Robots, which leads China in the research and development of intelligent humanoid robots and holds a global leadership position in the mass production of bionic robots and bionic skin. The corporation integrated technology from the meta world and humanoid robots to construct the science and technology museum for the future of X. They also brought a friendly robot and a robot avatar to the exhibition, along with humanoid robots that resembled scientists Albert Einstein and Teresa Tang from Taiwan. Our exo robot creation process has been used for over 10 years. Because we want to create robots even more like people, the complexity of their production process is at the maximum. This will enable robots to better integrate into our human civilization and eventually replace humans in the workforce. X robots CEO made this statement in WRC. A robot avatar resembling one of EX Robot's employees was the most intriguing display. It mimics a living person's movements and facial expressions using a camera to record and analyze them. Developers claim that a different robot has been made that can recognize and react to human emotions. The Humanoid X robots are outfitted with individually created ROS operating systems and have up to 140 degrees of body mobility. Flexible actuators controlling the robot's torso and limbs allow for more lifelike movements and facial expressions. Dancing Humanoid Robot Cloud mining uses Tech Cloud Ginger XR1, a humanoid service robot and facial recognition system developed in China which was brought to the expo to amuse the attendees with its dancing. 34 intelligent flexible joints in the robot's neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, arms, waists and knees, outfitted with multiple 2D and 3D cameras allow for fluid movement. Ultrasound and LiDAR sensors microphone, a tricycle's frame and all-purpose wheels. In addition, Cloud Ginger can sing, move independently and avoid impediments. The elegant humanoid robot is 158 centimeters tall and 65 kilograms in weight. The fact that it has a somewhat appealing appearance helped it win the 2020 Chinese Red Star Design Award. The possibilities for this type of humanoid, which can listen and talk, seem unlimited, ranging from senior care and education to working in hotels and business centers, and participating in advertising and marketing at public events. Unitree Robotics launched the event with a huge dance performance by 100 Go One dogs while displaying multiple RoboPod models simultaneously. The business also specializes in developing cloud-based platforms and remote control terminals. Programs and platforms for training artificial intelligence development and cloud security are available for smart robots. They are a unitary corporation situated in Hengshou. It was established roughly six years ago. They have a very broad range of goods. Dogs come in many sizes, small, medium and large, and each has a different purpose. For instance, little dogs are employed in research, education, entertainment and escorting. They can assist in caring for elderly individuals at home or serve as guide dogs for blind people. Medium and large dogs conduct most patrols and inspections at petrochemical and power plants. Only one year after Robot Go One's initial release to the market, the business has managed to sell roughly 10,000 copies. It's important to note that Unite Robotics is the only Chinese manufacturer of robots to date to get quality compliance certificates from Europe, North America, Japan and other countries. A humanoid robot and bionic arm. 
The bionic arm from Beijing Polytechnic University was among the innovations displayed. A robot dog that can jump 1.06 meters and 53 centimeters apart, and an anthropomorphic robot that, according to its inventors, can run at a top speed of 7.3 kilometers per hour. Are you excited to know about robots that jump? Drive Direct presented its mobile two-wheeled direct drive robot, Diablo, to the expo. The Diablo combines the advantages of a standard wheeled AVG and a multi-legged robot. Each leg can move independently due to its design. The 23kg robot can jump up to 8cm and up to 14cm high while standing still. It is steady when going over barriers that are 5cm high and one leg can go over obstacles that are 10cm high. By adding a camera, Diablo may be used for patrolling in any environment and is sufficiently silent. It also has good impact properties, so the robot will stay stable no matter how severe the accident is. Diablo's maximum payload is 100 kilograms with crooked legs and 4 kilograms with straight legs. The running time without recharging is 4 hours, costing $23,000. Industrial Robots The exhibition had many industrial robots. So the Yaskawa robot showcased a striking new line for manufacturing automobile battery components that featured seven industrial robots and carried out ten technological procedures. A production management system is installed on the line to gather, store and track information on the production process and the robots. Beijing Lens and Technology during the WRC, a business that manufactures robots for emergency scenarios, revealed its most recent Scout robot to the public for the first time. The RXR C120 is heat resistant and can endure an environment with a temperature of 350 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. The robot is portable and light at 45 kilograms. It has a 1.2 meter second top speed and can function independently for three hours. The next C120 can be launched inside the building by the fire brigade when it first gets on the scene of an emergency to survey the fire scene, assess the damage from the flames, and ascertain the vital signs of anyone who may be inside. It is also appropriate for use in conditions with high levels of humidity. The business was also the first in the world to market a robot firefighter that can last 30 minutes in temperatures of 1000 degrees Celsius. The Chinese emergency services have been using the robot for a while now. The firm Meitorn, which over 12 years managed to become one of the most advanced and technologically advanced Chinese companies in the service industry, demonstrated unique solutions for logistics and warehousing. Meituan, which specializes in distributing ready-made food products, flowers, and other things, also offers marketing, information technology, supply chain management, and financial services. About 40 million people use the company's services every day. And at WRC, Meituan demonstrated a smart sorting and delivery solution using a next-generation unmanned delivery vehicle that was developed by the company and has a payload capacity of 150 kilograms, 540 liters, and a range of 120 kilometers on city roads on a single charge. Organize automated robots to perform routine deliveries. The autonomous couriers, the autonomous couriers currently working in Beijing and Shenzhen have traveled a total of 1.5 million kilometers and delivered 2.2 million items in just 800 days. A 3D sorting system with moving sorting rocks, a racking system with containers to distribute items, and an operational platform so the system may operate in the set mode without interruption were also on show at the company's booth. Children continually tampered with the piece even in the presence of interference and at the exhibition, yet the movement's rhythm remained unaffected. Intelligent platform from the Beijing business Real Man, which creates ultralight robot manipulators, has two manipulators. The robot displayed at the expo can carry out duties while using both hands at once just like a human. A mobile robot that can move around and avoid obstructions is mounted on the lower portion of the platform. The robot also has a speech module and deep vision technologies, which enable vocal interaction and visual perception. Since 2015, the Beijing-based startup Robot++ has produced intelligent robots for specialized applications, including high-altitude jobs. The Hitchmate V40, a disc robot for eliminating ship rust outfitted with an extremely high-pressure water jet system to remove rust and clean the ship's hull, was displayed at this year's WRC. The 135kg machine removes 40 to 50 square meters of rust every hour while producing 3,000 bar water pressure. The robot can perform operations on over 90% of the ship's hulls and adapt well to curved services. This was that bombastic world of robots.
Yes, China is growing with a robotic world, proving that with this WRC exhibition, we sincerely hope you enjoyed this glimpse into robotics' upcoming developments, and we eagerly anticipate what the coming year will bring.